2000 to 2006 marked a new generation of M cars. This car was the launch of the millennium, a car that stole our hearts, money, and minds. It had a mean inline six pushing between 343 horsepower to 360. Yep, I'm talking about the third generation BMW M3. What's up guys, Dom here with the DR channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about one of the most successful M cars sold. Yep, the BMW M3 E46. 3.2 liter inline six cylinder provides an impressive 343 horsepower and revs up to a limit of almost 8,000 revolutions per minute. Came in a coupe or a convertible. What sets this car apart from any other three series out there is the exterior, the widened fenders, front bumper, the rear bumper, the mirrors, the hood, etc. The next was the S54 engine, which is a 3.2 liter inline six, 24 valve. It had a zero to 60 time in 4.7 seconds, and it weighed about 3,200 pounds, which is crazy. In 2004, they had a ZZP option available. There was also other variants available as well, which was the CSL version. There was also the BMW V8 version, which is the GTR, which is insane. I have to make a video on it. Third generation M3 made its first appearance as the M3 GTR. This sports car was equipped with a 4 liter V8 engine and brings the strength of 450 horsepower to the road. And the last one, unfortunately, didn't get released, but it was a concept M3 Touring Edition, which is a wagon. I think it's freaking cool. Okay, let's talk cons about the E46 M3. Now, you guys all know that it did have rod bearing issues between 2001 to 2003. So make sure that if you do get one, you check if they were recalled and they were completed. Call the dealership if you can. We also know that they have problems with the sub rear frame. So make sure that the welded top mounts are done. You gotta make sure the Vano system is good. Everything's been updated. Last is the dreaded SMG2. I personally would just recommend staying away from it. It has no indication that it will fail. And if it does, you have to have some money aside on it. I'm telling you, either replace it with an M3 manual transmission or save enough money in case it fails and when it does fail. I don't mean to scare you, so let's talk about the pros. The pros are, it's an E46 M3. It was the most successful M car that was sold. It's sporty, the interior still holds up. I think it has a timeless look and that six speed manual transmission. There's just nothing like it, guys, I'm, I'm telling you. If you play your cards right, you can have a reliable daily driver that's a gentleman's sports car and will go up in value if you take care of it right. Fortunately, a lot of kids do own these, so they do ruin them. So make sure, please, try to save the M3. It has a huge community. People are more than willing to help you out or show you the way. Parts are affordable. Aftermarket support is crazy on these cars. There's a cult following. I always find myself looking back at a 3.2 liter screaming 7,900 RPMs. I really miss it, I do. Anyways guys, that's it for today. This is the DR channel. Please like, subscribe, comment. You can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Reddit. I'm everywhere now.